you will get an email and it will instruct you to go on Facebook and search for the group Urban Asia 13. This is the part uh, where I say, does anyone have uh, religious, social, any objection to participating in Facebook? Okay. If you don't have a Facebook uh, account, uh, would you be okay getting one? Um, would you be okay uh, getting one under a false identity, like some other name that you make up completely? Uh, because uh, it turns out that Facebook seems to be the social media, but I'm open to others. The social media that is most common to everyone. Is that true? <laughs> yes, it is. Are you uh, you're a songwriter, a singer-songwriter? So I think that's... Um, uh, the, the Facebook groups has the beautiful uh, ability to, to work without being friends with anybody. You don't have to friend anybody. I am not your friend, you're not my friend. We are colleagues in a professional, professional situation. We can be friends after you graduate, but right now, you don't have to like me, I don't have to like you, you don't have to like anything, you don't even, I don't think you even have to like the group. I think you just search for it and ask to join and then you then you will get uh, you will be able to see and participate in the dialogue. Because what I find is when I get an email question, this is between me and the person who asked the question, even though most of the class has the same question. So it's actually quite useful to have access to the questions that are asked and my responses. And often someone will ask a question and someone else will answer the question within the class long before I get to it because I'm not dependable. I'm the teacher, I have a family, I have a life, I don't check my email very often, I check Facebook even less. So sometimes the dialogue within the group is much more valuable than anything I can offer. So um, I would ask you to consider the possibility of joining under an alias and using it only for this <coughs> class and then deleting the account as soon as August 9th occurs throughout. So you don't have to decide then, we can talk about it later if you want. Other arrangements have been made in the past because you're not the only one who has been reluctant to join Facebook. Okay, um, moving on. On Blackboard, you will find uh, uh, a weekly, it will be a weekly unit that will uh, be set up on Thursdays. And you click on that, and the first thing you'll find is uh, a lecture. And that will be a link to a recorded lecture. Um, it might be one you've heard in class, or it might be one that is a supplement to what you heard in class, and, or it might be both, uh, a little of both. The second thing is you will see a reading. This week's reading is called Beyond Third World City, written in 1998 by Howard Dick and Peter Rimmer. Uh, it talks about many of the issues that have already come up today. Um, and my advice to you is to read it, uh, read it selectively, read it actively. It's an active engagement. It's not a passive reading. Uh, you actively engage the reading according to five principles. First principle is you paraphrase. So as you read, circle things, highlight things, underline things, and try to put it into your own words. Try to capture what the authors are saying in your own words, in either small chunks or big chunks. The second thing, and this is just as important as the first thing, selectively and strategically ignore things that are just dragging you down. Paul's going to thrive on hearing about Pongo Inda, uh, this, this uh, development, right? Yeah. You're going to look, oh, Pongo Inda, give me more. But, you know, Tony's going to be like, Pongo Inda, you know, no. So, 
ignore things that are not meaningful to you. Uh, ignore things that you believe are not going to help you understand this. Because believe it or not, not everything that gets published is useful to you. This is where your expertise and your own life experience is quite handy. Question. When things confuse you, or when you disagree with something, write a question in the margin of the reading and transfer that into your journal. The journal is something on, on Blackboard, you can write it right into Blackboard, or you can write it in some other, you can write it longhand, you could write it in the margins of a photocopy or a printout of the reading. You have complete freedom on how you do it. It could be an iPad, and you could talk it, I don't know. But um, eventually it makes it into your journal on Blackboard. And this is an outline, this should sound a lot like the sketching, sketching with writing. Connect, make connections between what is in the reading and uh, what you know. What you know from other classes you've taken and what you know as the world's foremost experts on your own personal experience. And finally, extend. How does what you are, the ideas that are developing through this active engagement, what are the implications for, for future understandings of the world? So extend the ideas, speculate on how it might um, operate moving forward. Number four. Based on this, based on this exploratory sketching through writing, what, what ideas are there? This is where you develop, you find a photograph somewhere on, in the world. And it could come out of a book, it could come off the internet. Uh, but find a photograph of a physical situation physical, spatial uh, situation that is worthy of analysis. So you start with translating this in the context of an image into a diagram and then testing it as an analysis. So if, the con in this case, this is a concept of the modern city uh, of Le Corbusier's proposal for uh, the modern city in, and in this case, Chandigarh, Chandigarh in India, uh, how, what is the diagram that Corbusier proposed? How does that diagram map onto the actual physical situation of Chandigarh? And how does that diagram translate it onto the actual uh, image of the place? What can that tell us? How does one make an argument based on this? And so this diagram translated into an analysis overlaid on the image supports and is, becomes evidence in support of an argument that the four functions of Corbusier's modern city, living, working, uh, recreation, which, and the circulation system between those functions creates a very hierarchical arrangement and a lot of empty space. So that was an argument I just made based on the evidence produced by this image. And so this is an example of how out of the reading you find an image, you develop a diagram into an analysis in support of an argument of 120 words. So. This is the hardest part of the class, and I will be posting examples uh, on the Facebook page of, of this type of exercise. Now, you probably have questions, but let me just take it one more step. So this analysis, for those of you who are familiar with this, it's not an analysis and then an argument. The 120 words is the text that goes with your analysis. So it happens in one step. 
much wiggle room do we have with 120 words? Can we go a little over, a little under? Um, 130. 10 spoken. over, that's it. Um, that was on, what is that? That was on the response and on the it starts. It starts, to, it starts to count against you when you hit 130, 140. Let's say 140. If you hit 140, I'm going to start to say, no, no, no. That was too easy. You got so to you keep working on it. Because we have to cite this. So this is due on Tuesdays. And then on Thursdays, it's, it's the position. And that's the 60 second video. Which is the 60 second video uploaded to a Prezi. That, we will show you that on next Tuesday, and it will be due on Thursday. Wait, where's That's the other, where's the other writing? We also have to cite the picture too. You have to what? Cite the picture too. Like we have the source, Google, or Google. Let's hold off on that for now. Let's keep the moving parts to a minimum because there's an awful lot. Right. What's, yeah. Well, that's the analysis part. Yeah. Yeah, Shalom. We have class every Tuesday and Thursday. We have class every Tuesday and Thursday. Shalom. Can you show up? Um, there will be exceptions. On the 23rd, uh, there's something. If you can come down to Rhode Island, we'll have class there. <laughs> Those of you who can't, it's an optional. optional class in Rhode Island, where we'll be talking about Asian cities. <laughs> Coincidentally. So, that's a lot, I know. Some of this is clarified in the syllabus. In a way, this will be motivation to join, to respond to the email you're about to get, to join the Facebook group. Um, what's your name again? Jillian. Jillian. Um, if, if, uh, if Jillian is not comfortable joining Facebook, who's going to be her buddy? We send her things on a regular basis. OK, Jimmy's going to be Jillian's buddy. If, if it turns to that. Any? Okay. Yes. I'm still really unclear on what the journal is. I will show you examples. Okay. The journal's from the region. Anything that you yeah. find. Yeah. And so is the analysis. The analysis is a picture. So, okay. Right? It's on the region. We're going to set up uh, five experts who can help. So, the. Uh, so, in the context of the ideas presented in the lecture, do the reading in an active, strategic way in which you paraphrase things that you think are important, ignore things that you think are not important, question things as you go along, connect things together within and beyond the reading, extend your thinking to other situations, find a picture that is, provides an example of one or more of the ideas that came out of your sketching through, the, through your writing. Analyze it, or, uh, narrate it in 120 words, and upload it to Blackboard for Tuesday. So we're drawing the diagram on top of the image we're drawing? You draw the diagram on top of the image, and then you try to, you try to avoid harsh, abstract forms. And you try to use those tools in Photoshop that match pixel for pixel the evidence of the actual form of the place. So you don't want to distort the factual evidence of the image. You want to use those magnetic lasso tools to capture the actual pixels. Uh, but I'm aware of the fact that in the first few weeks, you will probably be imposing an abstract geometric diagram with full opacity on top of the image. In which case, I will say, don't use full opacity, use transparency. I will also say, don't use abstract geometric forms. Try to capture the actual pixels of the image itself. Part of the learning process here will be, week by week, getting familiar with Photoshop. Because not everyone has universally used the, the pixel capture tools of Photoshop, right? Who has it? Experiential, is experiential views that place experiential space in the foreground and the view of the city in the background yeah. is always useful. This type of view is the right approach. 
Um, further guidance will be available on Facebook. Uh, so join soon and visit often. Are the journals weighted the same as your The journals will be similarly weighted, which is not so heavy. Oh. Do you, okay, so for the position, I know we're just uploading the video on Thursdays. Yes, we'll cover that next Tuesday. Paul? No, Asia, Asia is everywhere. Asia is in Boston. Asia is in this room.